Nicaragua is one of the two or three poorest nations in Central America. There are very, very few healthcare providers in Nicaragua. Most people, um, if, if, if the local physician is 60 to 100 miles away, it means most people are not accessing health care. We had about, I'd say give or take, about 43 students, pharmacy students from all different years. Um, and we had a number of physicians and pharmacists from Harborview and some of the other medical centers in Seattle. The focus was uh, to deliver health care services, at least temporary ones, to, to rural indigent people in Nicaragua and a, a mountain village. Mm -hmm. Overall, they told us we saw 895 patients. We had this disabled patient and he traveled with his mother. Um, they must have traveled about three hours by bus to get to our clinic. I think the impact is really, I, I just really can't find the words to describe how much it meant to me. Um, it was a very emotional journey for me. I feel that we really saw a lot of patients. We, we did a lot for them. We did as much as we could for them, but we were still afraid that we wouldn't be able to do enough. One of the things that we actually have painted on the wall in the basement is a giant map, and on either side, the Global Brigade slogan. Students empowering communities, communities empowering students. So for anybody who's interested in, in volunteering with Global Brigades or, or just volunteering in general internationally, I would tell you what my uh, study abroad guidance counselor told me at university. Just get on the bloody plane. You know, taking a risk, um, stepping out of your comfort zone is always something that's going to be difficult. One of the things that I hear a lot, it's a very humbling experience and it puts things in pers perspective. Three of our, of our students, women, on the inside of the pharmacy with light coming from a window. The window had no glass in it, it's just an open, open gated window. And uh, four or five of the local young girls looking in, watching them and their interactions. They spent a lot of time talking about whether it was okay for women to become doctors. I mean, they wanted to know from our students that wh how they could be a doctor since they were a woman. And I gave them hope. I think it was really a hope, hope lesson.